We're exploring careers in education, and today we're in Lincoln at North Star High School talking to a tech teacher who's shaping the future, learning the latest technology, sharing it, and building up future geniuses. Let's take a look back to high school. Woo! Go Navs! This exuberant lady is Charmaine Satry. She is a skilled science and technology teacher here. And uh, you took a long path to become this kind of teacher, but you've obviously found your calling. Tell us about that. Well, I you know, graduated from high school and then went on to a community college and then a four-year institution. Um, got my degree in physical education and health with a coaching endorsement, which is why I wanted to go in the teaching field. Hmm. Um, there wasn't any teaching jobs in PE and health, so it forced me to work um, in industry. Hmm. So I got kind of a taste of manufacturing from that standpoint, and then talked to some people and said, why don't you get your industrial technology endorsement? And I thought, you know what, that's not a bad idea, because they need women role models hmm. is what the deal was. Um, so I did that, got through, and um, ended up teaching. Um, started out at uh, one of our our high schools for challenged kids, and then I did some, did a gig with middle level, the mm. wild ones. Nice. Always moving. Yeah. Um, and now, then I got hired out here at North Star, and so I've been here at North Star for 12 years. Wow. Yeah. And so being this type of teacher has its challenges and also its rewards. Mm -hmm. The challenges are number one is is getting those kids in here because sometimes you get kids in my in our classes that just are placed in there because there's nowhere else for them to go so the first thing that I usually do and most teachers do is develop that relationship because hmm. once you get the relationship then you can pretty much go anywhere but sometimes that's hard to do we have a, a lot of diversity um, so some kids don't speak English hmm. which is another one of those challenges but also very rewarding when you can see that they get it um, you know, and, and the road has been just great. Um, hmm. You know, I always tell kids that, you know, whatever you do, please have a passion in your heart for it. I don't, I don't care what it is, yeah. but you gotta like coming to work. And I like coming to work hmm. because you're all a little crazy that I have to see every day and that keeps my life fascinating. Nice, and you know, in order to be a tech teacher, you need to be a tech learner. So I know you're constantly keeping up, but also, have you ever thought about the fact that you're kind of influencing the technology world by sending these students out to kind of yeah. take the next steps? That's the part where, you know, as a teacher, kids never tell you thank you when, when you have them in class. It's later on. And, um, you know, I have had because of Facebook, you know, and social media, kids have gotten in touch with me and thanked me hmm. for hanging in there with them. And some of them are uh, in the automotive field, some of them are in diesel mechanics, I've got some that are in um, medicine, uh, photography, I've got a couple that are in machine tooling, uh, in the construction business. So that makes my heart warm. Mm -hmm. um, when I teach this robotics class, which you guys are going to get to see, um, robotics encompasses many, many areas that kids can go out into. Um, you know, whether it be medical, whether it be manufacturing, whether it be with the military, um, there's just a lot of facets to this class. And you've got to bring that in so kids get that connection. And there's the bell. Well, quickly before the students come in, I would love to learn an aspect of your job. I'd love to learn something so I could teach the world and change it. Can you show me something to do? I can. All right, we are here with the robots, and we're gonna do some crazy programming. Charmaine, what is my first step? Well, first of all, you're working with Dizzy. This is the name of this robot, Dizzy. Awesome. Okay. That was my nickname in middle school. No way. Crazy. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we've got to program this to move one of those red cubes or blue cubes over there on the competition table. Go to, right now you've got your um, Easy C, which is our, it's C programming. Okay. And we are going to go under where it says projects there, and I'm going to have you click on new competition project. Oh, right. So new it stuff. says at the top there that we've got motor one. Okay, so as we look, this is our motor one. It's on the left side, and it's going 127 revolutions, okay, Clock, counterclockwise. I so think. that, we're okay there, so we're gonna click okay. Okay, all right, programmed, ready to go. We're okay. taking it to the arena. 
Okay, Andy, we're gonna, now that you've programmed this, or we have, we're gonna see if it really does work. All right, Dizzy, okay, let's all of do our this. Hard work, so. We wanna move this thing that's, there's a technical name? There is a technical name for it, do you remember? The cube. The cube. Okay, you're we're moving the cube. You're absolutely right. Step one, turn it on. Haha, <laughs> I got that. Now, on as well, right? Okay, very good, yep. Okay, and. Awesome. Uh, that was awesome. Yeah. However, we all we need to do is do a little bit of problem solving and tweaking um, the wait time in here. I think if we double it, we can push it, and then we can add that turn. That's right. So it was pretty good. I did a good job. You did an excellent job. Dizzy, you're the real hero. That's amazing. Well, Charmaine, thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. You're welcome. Was it great. was fun to have you out here to kind of see what the kids do. Yeah, well, be on the bleeding edge of technology. Be a tech high school teacher. Go teachers. Thank <laughs> you.